This is all about Monroe. Who was for? There was nothing unusual about Monroe. He wouldn't wash his face. No! He wouldn't eat. No! He wouldn't sleep. No! His was a stable, well-rounded, fully integrated life. Then, one day, he received a letter. He had one of his big friends read it to him. It's from Local Draft Board 92, and it says your friends and neighbors send you greetings. So while the other kids played and chased and did exactly what was normal for them, Monroe came to the shocking realization that at the age of four, he'd been drafted. Uh, the next morning, Monroe went for his physical. Nah, they'll never take me. Oh, my back! I got a bad back, boy! Well, my doctor says army food will kill me. Are you kidding? Me in the army? Oh, <laughs> boy! They want to let me off, I know. I got a fablinter of the spine. Oh, they have to let me off. They'll kill my mother. Unbutton me, mister. Now the left eye, now the right eye, that's all. Drop your shorts, now hop around on one foot, that's all. Any history of mental illness in your family? Okay, that's all. Monroe tried to explain that he was just a little boy. But the doctors were too busy drafting a famous ball player to even notice him. Smile, Billy. Hey, Doc, pump his hand. That's it. Shake like you like him. Good. And so Monroe was classified 1A. My father's got friends in the Pentagon. Well, I'm going to appeal. A fat lot they care about my mother, boy. What do you mean, mister? Go home, settle all your business affairs. You'll hear from us in 21 days. Kindly step to the rear of the car, please. And so Monroe went to war. <laughs> and, uh, the sergeant couldn't speak English very well. He spoke in code. It was all very simple. Even Monroe could understand. Okay, this won't kill you. Move up. Okay, let's go. This won't kill you. Come on, move up. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> now Monroe was a full-fledged soldier. He learned to play all the games that soldiers play, like, like, face. Or another game called, uh, take this man's name where everyone must sweep and clean. And then the man who was it would walk past each bunk and say, Take this man's name. Oh, there were so many games to play. My poor Monroe, oh boy, he was very tired. <sighs> he went to the sergeant. I'm only far. I'm only far. It is the official policy of the army not to draft men of four. Ego, you cannot be four. Ego, you only think you're four. Go on sick call. So, uh, the next morning, Monroe went on sick call. Everybody's faking. Everybody's faking. Everybody's faking. You, what's wrong with you? I'm only four. How long have you been feeling this way? I'm only four. Open your mouth. We'll soon fix this. I'm Monroe was sent on his way with a box of white pills and a warning to stop faking. Sick call was over. But try as he might, Monroe could not get over the idea that he was four. He went to the psychiatrist. I'm a lingerer, eh? Bucking for a psycho discharge, are you? I've handled your type before. He went to the chaplain. My son, you will find life here in the army so much more... Rewarding if you make the best of it and decide to face realities. Let's have another chat real soon. He went to the colonel. Get out of here, you little goof up, or I'll shove you in the stockade for a month. Well, Monroe promised he'd try, really try this time. 
For if so many wise men claim that it was impossible for him to be four, how could he be four? From now on, he would be a soldier. He would march with the best of them. He would shoot with the best of them. And if need be, he would go to war with the best of them. A new bunch of men. See that man? That's a soldier. That's what we're going to train you to be. We're going to separate the men from the boys. And Monroe began to cry. <laughs> hey, stop that crying, soldier. The sergeant looked embarrassed. Stop that crying, soldier. Stop that crying, soldier. Stop, stop that crying, soldier. Then, out came the general. Soldiers don't cry. Only little boys cry. Are you a soldier? Or a little teensy winchy crying baby boy? Yeah. 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 Well, obviously, then, you're nothing but a little baby boy. Obviously. Simple logic. And once they'd said it, Monroe began to look different to him. I rule that this is a little boy. Of course. It's logical. A little boy. <laughs> Sign here, just a simple release. <laughs> the day Monroe was sent home, they held a big parade in his honor. There were newsreel photographers and television and his mother and his father and all the kids in the neighborhood. And the general even read a message from the president. I hold no fear for our nation's future. When even a mere lad of four is stirred strongly enough by our cause to enlist himself in the service of his country. I'm from the American Legion. You want to join? Monroe was a hero. Ah, oh, his parents were so proud. But from that time on, Whenever he became cranky, his mother would just remind him of the army, and Monroe would be a good boy. Good night, Mama. Good night, Papa. A very good boy indeed.